So I, I kind of forget that whole backstory about me living out in the woods and snow and how that's a little weird. Because I live in the suburbs and everything's normal. Uh, so what if we could predict everything? So models have evolved a great deal in the last 10 years. We've gone from kilobytes in model size to literally gigabytes. So we're dealing with 12 features, dozens of features, to now we're dealing with literally hundreds of millions of features. Um, and if you like the term dust bowl empiricism too much, there's a good correlation that you're living in the kilobyte land. <laughs> if you're still there in 10 years, I'd be concerned. So what can these computers do with these incredibly powerful models? So one of the things these computers can do, they can actually look at an image and they can predict which image is most likely to show up in a scrapbook. Just looking at the image. Hopefully that blows some minds. I think it blows mine. The other thing that computers can do Humans have spent years defining what beauty is. Plastic surgeons have metrics, and people in the beauty industry have metrics as well. The computer can just look at millions of images, and it can learn beauty on its own. And this actually shows you heat maps where it is activating on different regions of the face. No one told it that these regions were important for men and women. It discovered those on the own. In a way, it's creating its own theory. So, pretty fascinating. So what, is it okay to measure features that humans cannot see? I, I used to wonder about this, and now I think it's a little silly. Because I think from the last talk, what do humans see? Humans see gender, humans see race, humans see age, they see bias. We all see bias if you put enough data through us. Where computers can actually actively ignore, ignore bias. So of course it's okay for computers to see things that human can, humans cannot see. Humans set the bar so low, it made it easy for the computer to step over. So the human process is not something that should be looked up to. And that's why we have assessments in science and um, machine learning that go that we put into this process. So now for the future. So there is a creepy side to this. So if you gave me, if we made a bet and I had to predict who the top performers are, if I used the last week's worth of their mobile data, their 3D accelerometer data, I could predict with high correlation who the top performers are, and I could also predict, um, I could remove adverse impact. But it's not job related. Uh, and now that is MVP, I can uh, I can also predict that from like an EEG, from a brain scan, looking at two minutes, unspoken interview, looking at familiarity, uh, slide data, and is that okay? And if, and if you don't believe me, just wait a couple more years, and this might be something we see. Uh, so just because we can't predict it, should we? Thank you.